Hey everyone, welcome back to Grim Season 1, Episode 2, and this one is Little Red Riding Hood. Ooh, we all know the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Let's see how Grim perceives it, because I don't think I've read this one in my Grim Brothers book. Also, I would like to say Happy Halloween to everyone! This should be the second video of Halloween. Hopefully, if I can get it up, if not, it'll be the next day. Anyways, uh, let's get right into it. I'm so excited. Here's a poser. How does Little Red Riding Hood, a disobedient child with eyesight poor as her judgment, escape mutilation from her confrontation with the most feared and hated creature of the forest? Hmm? She wouldn't, of course. But don't tell the brothers great. The story begins with a standard mother-daughter conflict. Mother gives daughter detailed instructions and advice, which daughter immediately ignores. Is there a moral here? Little Red Riding Hood, take these cakes and bottle of wine to your grandmother. She's very ill and weak. Don't stray from the path or talk to anyone on the way. Good pleasure, Mother Uncle, just as you say. The forest is home to many animals, and not all from for pets or food. What delightful and cuddly creatures. I could eat them all up. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you headed this beautiful day? To visit my grandma, sir, under the three big oak trees. An excellent destination, my dear. Enjoy your journey. Take your time. What a happy thought. I'll collect a butterfly or two and some flowers. Granny will be good. What a credulous ninny. The wolf's already selected Granny for his entree. While she dawdles, he's on his way to the three oaks. Granny loves flowers. I'll pick a few. She won't even notice if I'm a bit late. Having previously demonstrated the acuity of not the temperament of a rock, no one should be surprised that Red Riding Hood is out in the new and by the wolf when she arrives at a great <laughs> Come in, little, <coughs> come in, little red riding hood, and bring the cake and wine. How ever did she know that I brought? She sounds as though she's very ill. My granny, I never noticed how big your mouth is, and your grooming. You look nearly wild. Appearances are deceiving, my dear. <laughs> Sometimes. The cries for mercy were in vain, of course. Mercy was not in the wolf's stage. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood joined her granny in the dark. Ew. I've heard of wolf too, but this bird is only incredible. All wolves and pythons have more in common than I imagine. Granny, I wonder where you brought to. I brought cakes and wine. There was a wolf in the bed. What is that smell? Uh, that I very much miss my guest, my dear. We're in the belly of the beast. Surely not. It stinks worse than our privy. But it's a bit cleaner. That looks like Mrs. Schmidt's arm. Very distinctive tattoo. In perhaps the most far-fetched rescue ever, a lumberjack with an expert sense of lupine anatomy passes by. This worthy naturalist, noting a wolf's belly is dangerously distended, relieves the creature's distress with his scalpel sharp axe and simultaneously saves both linen from the wolf's digestive juices. <laughs> Well, isn't that amazing? What are you two up to in there, anyway? Very little bit was quite dark. My ears hurt. The wolf gobbled us up. You can't blame a creature for being hungry. I sold him up and let him go. I'm sure he's learned a lesson. Really? What do you think of that, Grandma? We'll eat the cakes and drink the wine after I take a hot bath. The wolf learned a lesson, all right. They've all got rocks in their heads. What a crock. I mean, what kind of parent sends a child into the woods alone? What child mistakes a savage wolf for her beloved Grandma? And nobody dies? If you'd like to add a bit of flavor and spice to this tasteless, if happy meal, play on. Once there was a way to get back home again. But not anymore. A simple stroll in the woods can be a walk on the wild side. Tell me that's not a good thing. I'll say you're wrong. Mother sends Little Red Riding Hood to tend her aged granny and implores the child not to dawdle along the way. Isn't that precious? I hate it. Let's fix it. All right, here we are, back with peeing on little kids. Making everything gross. Yes. So, uh, I probably fast forward that. Hardly cryptic, grim, smelly. Now. Anyways, I probably fast forwarded that part. And uh, if I recall, did the lumberjack not put rocks in the wolf's belly? I'm pretty sure he did. Like, he tricked the wolf into thinking, "Oh yeah, I got everybody in here," but not really. Rompin', stompin', butt kicking good! Mother, help me! Oh, yeah, I missed that. Yeah. Oh, no, you're zombie children. You're not matches this time. Alright. Let's butt stomp this. Rompin', stompin', butt kicking good! Nice. Anyways, like I said, I'm pretty sure that the lumberjack actually put rocks in the wolf's belly so that he thought the grandma and Red Riding Hood were still in there. But I could be wrong, because like I said, I didn't read that one. I haven't gotten to that part yet in my grandbrother's book, but I can't remember. Also, I love how these birds are attacking these villagers and they're like, meh. What a... Look at that! I opened it all Roll the way over here with granny. my butt. If we're lucky, she'll expire before we get there. Sorry about that. Hopefully you can actually hear me now. Yes, you can. Probably. Um, I apologize for the last part. I don't think you could hear me very well. So, I apologize for that. 
Are these cute little squirrels cleaning up after me? Nuh uh, squirrels. Also, what deformed things are we gonna see in this episode? Like, last episode we had kids that were like put through. Like, yeah, it was, they were hung on swing sets and they were like had heads through monkey bars. It was really fucking weird. Am I there yet? No, not yet, sorry. Are they gonna be zombie squirrels? I think I wanna make zombie squirrels. Oh yeah, zombie squirrels. Sorry, little sweeter. We actually don't have squirrels at the inn anymore. Just because the mama cat that we have there ate them. And so uh, if you didn't watch my- Oh, what the fuck?! Okay, so these move. Good to know. God damn it. That's so annoying. Of course they move. So say if you didn't watch my Black Widow challenge, I did mention in there. I'm sorry I've been on hiatus again for the past. I've just been really busy. Encounters a wolf in the deep dark woods. No wonder she's not afraid. I have cats that look meaner and more dangerous. Seriously, I'm saying, oh look at these here, they're so cute. As I was saying, I've been busy. I got a new car, got a brand new vehicle. It's awesome. Brand new whip. And then we also got a new kitten. And her name is Peaches. She is so cute. Uh, Want to see pictures? If you check out my social media, which you can definitely do, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr. You can even check out my Instagram for more of my personal life. I would say if you're looking more for my personal life, check out Instagram, which is a bit more on the ball, I guess. I don't know. Although I do post my twi my stuff on Twitter and Tumblr from my Instagram anyways. So just Oh my god! That's horrible! No I'm peeing on them! Ew, that was terrible! Oh I'm really sorry, dear! Nasty. Don't delay! But stomp away! These poor deer have been cut in half! Like, what the fuck? Is this where I'm supposed to butt stomp? No. Where is that spot? Where did that spot go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just can't see it because I'm an idiot. Hey, Itchy. Don't delay, butt stomp away! That's oh my, my god! Rabbit. Why is there a big ass rabbit hopping around? Dear god, this game! The wolf races to grandma's, while little Red Riding Hood, the thoughtless twit, picks flowers. I'd like to see Granny get that chomp, and Red deserves some grief for her behavior. These happy trees. Get away from me. Oh shit, there's water there. Whoopsies. Water. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm not paying attention. Didn't even see that. Ah! <laughs> Flower pickers will be shot. Entry your soul. You know what? This game is really messed up. I do really like some parts of it, but other parts, like those poor deer. Oh my god, I can't get over those poor little deer. That was crazy messed up. Those poor little deer. They were like cut in half, but still alive. That was so horrible. Oh, I can't get over it. I just, I can't. Gross. Can I turn these kids into little monsters? Yep. Oh my god, there's skeleton children! Yeah, what do you think about that, Red? How do you look? You look like a demon, kind of. Can I turn these mountains? Yes, I can! Hello, spooky, scary mountain! Stomp it good! I will! I just want to change all these happy mountains. They're just too happy. Yes, okay, here we go. Stomp it! Oh, the good! Only that don't make me nauseous are dead ones. Little Red Riding Hood arrives at Grandmother's house in the- The ninny makes it to Granny's, but is she in time? Oh, I certainly hope not. Aw, look at these cute kitties. Please don't cut these kitties in half. That was just weird. That was terrible. That was actually horrible. 
Hey, look! I got another secret. That secret had a butt on it. Oh my god, they look like puffer fish! What is up with this kitty? This kitty looks like it's. Oh, now I'm peeing on it. That's. Oh god, I hate doing that. Be like looking at something and I pee on it randomly. How horrid. Nice. Ah! I think those. Red notices something's amiss, but not nearly amiss enough for me. Cease the charade, wolf! God, what the. Now. What the hell is that? What are these underpants gnomes? No, no. No underpants gnomes are allowed here. <laughs> okay, hold on. Look at these birds. How horrible is that? Oh my god. They're all like. Oh! Oh, gross! They're all like in their cages and they're being squashed to death in their cages. Dear God, this game is so horrible. Oh, look, now they're like evil underpants gnomes. So beautiful. Get back here, get back here, get back here, get back here. Yes. Got ya! Alright, here we go. Stomping, Butt stomping granny. I want to get on the bed. Oh my God. Oh, do we have to go in the belly of the beast? Yes, we do. The noises in this game are so fucking gross. Oh. The belly of the beast. Yeah. Even this dismal stinkhole needs some refurbishing. Stop enjoying the digestive juices. This level makes me want to vomit everywhere. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Oh, oh, it's so horrible. Oh, I'm stuck on one of those. Oh, the sounds are so gross. <gasps> oh, there's the axe. Shit. Hey. Definitely not healthy. Also, ew. God, I almost died. Oh, man. Don't bother. Here comes the pesky woodsman to rescue the idiots from their demise. Come on, friend. Let them digest a little longer, eh? Come on. I got places to thing. I got places to thing! I got places to now be, things I'm to do. Out. Why does he have happy faces in his organs and, like, chairs and stuff? Like, why do you have treasure chests and chairs and these weird faces in here? Like, there's definitely something going on with your stomach, sir. And that's... It's not normal! You should go to a doctor there, Mr. Wolf. A vet, I guess. Heart looks like it's gonna explode. Oh jeez, everything's falling apart. Oh god. Stomach acid is rising. Now who's nasty? Stomp it. You get it, boy. Oh, there goes his heart. Rip this wolf. Oh, thank god that's over in my pee. Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma are rescued by a woodsman. Ah, everything good has to end. I'd hoped they'd melt away in there. As it is, the woodsman has salvaged their worthless hides. Now they'll want revenge. Well, let's make sure it's painful. <laughs> oh, Oh no! Ew! There's like dead birds cleaning, like those bird baths turn into like blur blurred bird blood baths. Ew! Finally, the wolf gets the shaft. Not really fair, is it? The beast was only doing what came naturally, but if he's going to die, let's make sure it's gruesome. I think it's already there. Also, what the fuck is this? Ew! What the fuck 
is in there? That's so raunchy. Perfect Halloween game, and I probably... Oh, look, it's like pieces of him or something. He's everywhere. Look. Oh, gross. Anyways, I'll probably be playing this into November as well, considering November is post-Halloween. And, uh... I think it would be appropriate to just keep playing. I will be finishing season one, I think. And if you want more, I can always go into season two. And I actually think there's a season three, but I'm not really sure. But that can be looked into. Oh my god! What the hell? Oh god. Oh my god! What are they doing? Are they killing each other? I don't know what they're doing, but they look like they're killing each other. Ready for this? No, dust to dust. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Ashes. To his final reward, the old wolf dashes. <laughs> that really showed them. Now that we've made these tasty revisions, the story bears a passing resemblance to a decent tale. I mean, when a big bad wolf meets a young girl alone in the woods, what are the chances that she would escape their meeting without violence? No, no. There's no happily ever after here. Someone or something had to die. Changes had to be made, you see. No choice, really. Red, you lazy slut. Go see if the old bag's ready for the worms. If she's still kicking, steal some eggs or a piece of cheese. Don't dally! I'm starving. Oh my god, you lazy I'm closer, my pretty doll. Small birds make tasty treats. This one has a metallic aftertaste. You wouldn't like it. I'll see you again. Not if I see you first, and my granny has a gun! Aw, oh, going to granny's, are we? Well, I'll make sure to avoid that repulsive hobble. <laughs> Granny demands flowers and proves the smell of her place. She never asks where or how I get them. Oh, I'm nearly ill. I eat so much. Oh, Granny wasn't even that good. But there's always dessert. Granny, you look terrible, if you don't mind me saying. But I'm pretty on the inside. <laughs> Granny, do you have your toad stabber? It's still in my apron, damn it, Blast. It could have slid his gut and rolled our sorry butts out of here. What about the back door? Do you have any matches? That gas leak looks promising. Smell good, too. Alas, I've got nothing but my birthday shoes. The wolf, inebriated and helpless from his recent meal, was set upon by a half-crazed bounty hunter who'd been tracking him for weeks. Only by chance did Granny and Red Riding Hood escape the blade of his fearsome axe. They tumbled out of his belly, stinking, but allegedly no worse for wear. Granny, the woods are nasty and wild. You should move to the village. I'd have to see your mother too often. No, thank you. And the woods are safer now. But there are still big bad wolves, and maybe you won't be so lucky next time. Worst things have happened. You might miss me. Nobody else would. Now I'll die another day. They might have survived. I doubt it. In the French version, Perrault says they both got gobbled up and digested. It warms the heart and other parts when all the creatures in a tale get what they deserve. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. Oh my god. Ew! That was so gross. I'm sorry, but that was just... That whole level with you when you're like in the wolf's stomach, I just wanted to vomit the whole time. Oh god. And then like <laughs> when he was reading the story again... I can't believe a mom was like, Red Riding Hood, you lazy slut. Like, holy shit, calm down. Oh, well, that was definitely an adventure, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.